Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABN Graphics. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are just going to learn some tech tips. And on this, we are just going to learn on how to apply for the American Visa Lottery. Uh, you know, uh, on our last video, we learned how to create that particular passport picture that you can use to apply for this American Vita Visa Lottery. You get that? Yes. But on this, what we need to learn over here is that we just want to learn how to apply the requirement that you need they put in the input that you need to put in for uh, this particular this thing to get it done easily and maybe you may be selected by luck yes on this you get that so what we need to do over here is that i'm just going to my chrome and on this you can either use chrome edge any browser that you wish you can use you can use it you get that or you can get to any um uh, what's, what should i say any press where those who are doing secretarial service internet service and they can also help you get it done easily you get that and if you are here in tamale you are around tamale you can move all your particulars and all the details that we needed you can come to jara press it's located at uh Norib junction or uh, just opposite Norib Junction. so we are there we can assist you get it done both the creating the passport picture and the applying for this particular america visa lottery you get that so what you need to do over here is that you just need to go to their website the official website is one is not two and you don't need to pay money you don't need to pay in for anything you get that you only pay money for the services someone has done for you but not for this particular uh when applying this you get that so let us go to our chrome um this particular website is is dvaprogram.state.gov that is where you can apply for all this you get that so i'm just going to copy that one then we move our mouse to the chrome over here you get that and on this search bar you can right click or you can just type it in just like that and then you paste you get that then when you paste you wait for this particular distance to come out then you apply you get that so this electronic diversity visa program is uh it comes every year that maybe uh you can try your luck and uh, unfortunate you may get it you get that however the ending or the closing uh date for this season is just near you get that so yes you just have to be hurry and get it done you get that okay because uh looking at dva 2016 entrants may enter their confirmation information through the link below starting at noon on may 3rd 2025 you get that and then over here this is talking about checking okay this is talking about checking this is talking about checking you get that yes but uh looking at this uh the time on that will be okay let's do something over here over here the entrance submission period for dv2016 is from 12 noon uh 12 pm that's october 2nd 2024 to 12 noon 5th so uh oh sorry on november 7th so on november 7th that uh, this particular dv uh, is going to end okay so you just have to be in hurry to apply before it get too late okay you can click on here to get the instruction they need and offer photo instructions too you can click on it to get that and but i've already done a, a video about this you get that about this photo there's some the kind of photos they need the size and then the background all what they need you can check on my youtube you can get that particular video and you watch it and you do it well and if you cannot do it you can come to jared press and let's do it for you very easy you get that then after that what you need to do over here is to click on begin entering okay that is where we start our process of applying this particular uh, dva program or that american lottery this thing okay the first thing that you up, that will appear after clicking on uh, beginning the entry that is that is what you appear that is the authentication code just for them to know that you are not a robot and all that you get that so i'm just going to enter that particular distance by by uh for three nine and a p you get that and if you are not clear with these numbers you can click on 
over this thing to change different one okay but i'm clear over that so i'm just going to click submit and when i submit uh there is the application process that is going to to start on and that is what it is you get that yes so let us start on on this particular decision uh last name or family name that you have to put so over here i'm just going to put a last son that's good and then the first time i'm going to put abdul rahim that's my name and we hand over to that and then a middle name just say no middle name you get that so they will know that you don't have any middle name and then agenda you pick male if you are male you pick male if you are female you pick female you get that yes and then on the date of birth, you have to put the date of birth the fully date of birth there okay so this one that's month so i'm just going to put april and then the day i'll just put seventh and then on this thing i'm just going to put 1996 1996 okay yes and then over here city where city where you were born yes so the city uh over there they said do not enter district country province or state you get that so over here i'm just going to put tamale you get that yes and then country where you were born you just have to put the country you are right now applying this so ghana i'm from ghana and that's cool and there are countries that who who eligible to apply for this so if you are not part of that particular country uh you may not get this okay yes and then over here country of eligibility for dva program so when you click here you'll get all the, that those countries you get that but over they said are you claiming uh, eligibility based on the country where you were born i say yes yes and it's cool you get that yes so entrance photography so entrance photography that is important thing so i'm just going to click on choose new photo however i i had no passport picture right now so i'm just going to pick uh one particular passport picture that i did for one lady b uh nsca so it should, it should be white so i'm just going to pick, pick that one you see it it looks so cool and that's good nothing has happened they have not said the picture is not a uh, landscape it's not 600 by 600 or 1000 uh, one, uh, 1, uh, uh, 1200 by 1200 they have not said that you get that and it's cool so we can go on so over here mailing address mailing address is optionally you can decide not to put any mailing address but the address you just need to put it so i'm just going to say i'm from Kwani and it's opposite uh, power bars okay power bars and that's the way that is in tamale okay and that's so cool you get that and then a city or town just make it tamale i don't need more of that to get myself posted you get that so post address you can send no post address and then just three i can decide to say sanergo kwane uh, is in sanergo so i'm just going to put sanergo there and it's so cool and the country too you have to select it again by choosing ghana when you are in ghana you get that and then address too you can decide to leave it because it's option so there's no need to put that okay yes so let's come to country where country where you live today i'm still in ghana so there's no need for me to do anything phone number is optional but i'll just decide to put my phone number there uh so that maybe anything can happen okay and then email address i will just decide to put my email address there uh alasan alasan let me see my name my email address alasan at gmail.com so i'm just going to place it there and then i'll repeat the same thing here by saying alasan at gmail.com dot com that's cool then it's accepted you get that and then over here is the main problem what is the highest level of education have you achieved as today so this thing you have to be primary school only high school no degree high school degree vocational and all that so just check through where you have the certificate then you apply either high or low still apply it's just by god's grace you may get it you get that so this i'm just going to high school no degree i have no degree yes so it's so cool and then over here is the main problem again what is your current marital state so over here is has a lot of problems and problems and problems all over you get that yes when you choose a marriage it means that the 
the what is what should I say? The, 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 the form you need to fill is somehow lesser than when you say you are married. You get that, and this is is half kind of uh, problems over here so if i say i'm married it means that i don't need my wife passport picture again my children passport picture again nothing at all okay that i'm i'm but if i choose uh married and my spouse is not a U.S. citizen or u.s lawful permanent uh, resident it means that i have to get all if i have even 10 wives i have to get all their passport picture together to upload it in this system you get that because you if by luck if you get chosen you may go with your wife or your your children and all that so you have to put all their images all their picture all their passport pictures in it and their names and all that you get that yes so if you want to leave ghana with your family always choose married but not in what in usa it's not as a usa citizen you get that and by doing that by choosing married then you have to make sure that all their pictures all their passport pictures should be there then you upload that one too in this system before you submit you get that but because i am i'm married i'm just going to choose i'm married okay yes and then you can move on and the number of children you're not married so you don't need to have a child you get that yes but if you are married it means that you have to put the number of children there you get that i have three children i would i would just decide and put three children there and then i'll come back here and said i'm married and with this i have to put all the three children passport pictures and their names uh, my uh, my wife if I, uh, I, my children uh, is not a single this thing i have to put all their this thing there you get that yes so with this i'm just going to make it i'm married to so have my peace of mind and then a uh, number of children i'll just leave it blank because i have no child if you are not married you get that yes and then i'll click on continue like that so when i click on that continue it will move me to the another step to finish up my listing and when you're done with all that you just have to check through all what you have put in and all that and that ends the application so if you are unmarried the information or what should i say the form is lesser you get that it's lesser and it's it's much easier to submit you get that so after this what you need to do is just click on submit and then your submit this thing will be submitted and they will give you a confirmation code and that particular confirmation code is very important it's very very important you have to keep it down to the 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 selecting everything has done then that particular confirmation code that you are going to use to check back from this side whether uh, you have selected or you have not selected okay and the email address that you put in that one too that is where they will be sending you some informations to go through before you can leave your country to the uh, united states of america okay when you get selected you get that so this is how the form is being uh, done let's see something over here let's go back I just want to show you something over here. Uh, let me try and choose married. Sorry, married is here. So married, and I have three children. That's cool. Then I have to click continue again. So, you see that the form will have a lot of things. So part two drives. Uh, uh, part two. This is part two. Okay. So the spouse name. I have to put my wife name here, and then the last name. If there is melding I put the date of birth, what you have uh, filled in the other side for you, you have to fill the same thing for your wife too. You get that? Is uh, her passport picture? You have to put it there, and then you come your first child. You have to put their names, their everything, their passport picture, the second, and then you get that yes so i have three children because i said three children so i have to put all their details there you get that and then before i can do what i can continue and continually means that you are just going to submit the next button that you will see over here it will be the submit button then you submit you get that so this is how uh 
we apply or how to apply for the diversity uh, program. That's the American lottery, uh, American visa lottery. Uh, that is how we apply it. And you can only apply on this particular uh, website. That's dvprogram.state.gov. That is the only website you can do. And you don't need to pay money, but you need to pay money for the what? For the person who is going to do it for you. If you cannot do it, you get that. Yes. And then uh, after doing that, they'll give you a confirmation code and that particular confirmation code, you have to keep it and keep it and keep it down. You get that. You just have to keep it down so that any time that um, you have this opportunity, you are being selected, uh, all what you need to do over here is that you just have to come back to the dvaprogram.state.gov to check to check okay to check for that particular thing and if luckily you have been selected that ends it you just have to move from here to uh to the promised land may, may if i say that promised land so i just want to show you how to check it so let's have this and that okay i think this is cool so you can submit together then when you submit uh, there will be a button where I have to, because I have not uh, ended it, I have to do it, okay, but don't worry, maybe next time I'll show you how to do that, but let me see if I already do it this way, uh, will I get, okay, that's it, so check-in will be here, so that is where we can check it uh, in uh, this September 2026, right, yes, so uh, you just have to check, click on that, then you put in the confirmation code and all that to see whether you have been selected or not so this confirmation code that after submitting they will give it to you and if you forgot it again you can click on this forgot confirmation code and you'll get it you get that and then uh, your last name you have to put in your date of birth authentication code you have to do that and click submit and it will be submitted for you but i'll do a video i'll get a time and do a video based on this then you'll understand it and you'll love it okay that is how we do that thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics and have a nice day bye bye